Hello guys, today in this video we will be talking about the congenital anomalies of the cornea. The congenital anomalies of the cornea as we can see here is divided on the basis of either it is of the size and shape of the cornea or there is defect in the corneal transparency and here in this video we will be mainly focusing about the anomalies of the size and shape of the cornea. Now this topic here it includes megalocornea, microcornea and the cornea plana. Before jumping into the topic, now let us talk about the normal horizontal diameter of the cornea. The normal horizontal diameter of the cornea at birth, it is about 10 mm as we can see here and it attains its adult size of 11.7 mm by the age of the 2 years. Now, depending upon this uh, normal value of the cornea, we can divide whether the cornea is either microcornea, megalocornea or cornea plana. A uh, cornea is said to be megalocornea when the horizontal diameter of the cornea at uh, birth is of the adult size that is 11.7 mm or by the age of the 2 years it, uh, it uh, attains a size of 13 mm or greater. The salient features of the megalocornea is that the cornea here is clear, it has normal thickness and vision and is not progressive. The megalocornea it is usually associated with various other syndromes like the Marfer syndrome Apert syndrome, Ehler-Danlos syndrome and the Down syndrome. The, the Down syndrome is usually it is the trisomy of the 21. Marfan syndrome here it is an autosomal dominant disorder of the connective tissue and the people usually uh, are tall and thin and have long arms and legs and fingers and toes. And when you talk about the upward syndrome, the upward syndrome, it is also a genetic disorder, but it affects the skeletal system and mainly the person has the malformation of the skull, face, hands and feet. Now when you talk about the ehlers danlos syndrome, then it is a genetic disorder that weakens the connective tissue of the body. This is about the megalocornea. Now when you talk about the differential diagnosis of the megalocornea, uh, it is bupthalmus and keratoglobus. Here we can see that bupthalmus, it is a condition in which the, the intraocular pressure is raised and the eyeball is enlarged as a whole. The cornea is usually associated with central and peripheral clouding and a decimate stare. Now keratoglobus. In the keratoglobus, it refers to the thinning and the excessive protrusion of the cornea and it seems enlarged but has normal diameter. Now when you talk about the microcornea, here the horizontal diameter of the cornea is less than 10 mm since birth and can occur as an isolated anomaly rarely or in associated with um, non nanophthalmus that is normal uh, small eyeball or microphthalmus that is abnormal small eyeball. This is about the microcornea, now let's talk about the cornea plana. Cornea plana, it is a raw, rare anomaly in which there is bilateral comparatively at cornea since birth. And it can be associated with microcornea and it results in marked astigmatic refractive error. 